This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few more features that you'll find very useful in the interactive report or the interactive grid. We'll look at how you can control the column order. We'll see how to set up a control break, a way of grouping rows of data, and how to show a row count. We'll also take a look at our application pages. We've made several pages since we first created page groups and we need to assign the new pages to page groups and then we'll take a look at a different layout in the application pages. So I'm logged in to Apex as one of the developers. So I'm logged in as Mark Adams. I'm in the workspace Animal Shelter. I'm going to go into the development application and I'm going to scroll down and look for, I think I'll work with 153. This is an interactive grid that links to a master detail form. If I run this, this is the interactive grid. Because it doesn't display any edit capabilities, it functions essentially like an interactive report. The first thing I want to do is I want to replace the numbers, the values that I see for dominant breed and status with the text by using the select list. Notice here with animal processing selected, we do see it's an interactive grid. And if I select attributes, I see that edit is not enabled. So I will expand columns and select dominant breed ID, change that to a select list, and change this to dom breed, and scroll down, get my shared component selection, and then get the dominant breed. Then I'll go to status, again change that to a select list, shared component, status list. Save that, run that. So I would like the dominant breed to appear next to the category. I can do that by selecting actions and going to columns. I have the columns listed here displayed and I can change the sequence. So for dominant breed I'll select that and then I'll move it up until I have it next to category. Then I'll take name and move it up. Then I'll take status and move it next to dominant breed. And I'll click save. So we see the change here with category, dominant breed, status ID. I want to edit and change status ID just to a label or column heading that says status. Now what I'd like to do is group these so that we see canines grouped together. I will select from actions, I will select format, control break, and I will select category and save that. Then I will come to data and aggregate and I'm going to count something that's not used for the grouping but should not be null. So I'll do I'll do name and click save. So now when I scroll down I see a count of 52 and for feline, I do see a count of one. So this is an issue simply because we have a record of a cat without a name. So this illustrates an issue that you will encounter 
if you're counting rows and the field that you're counting can have a null value, might have a null value. Let's take a look. This is 1095. I'm going to leave that page and go back to list animals and search for 1095. And I will edit that record. And for dominant breed, I'm going to put in a breed. And then for a name, I will put in a name. And one thing you could do here, just as procedural instructions for people working with the database, if there is no known name, then simply put not known. And let's save that. Go back to my interactive grid, scroll down, and now we see that we have something in that field. So rather than leaving it null, put something like not known, not available. Now I'm going to add a control break after category by dominant breed. So I will come up to actions again and go to format and add another control break and this will be I need to add and it will be dominant breed and it will be dominant breed which is off the recording area but you should see it in your list and I'll click Save notice how it listed up here I have one canine of American Blue Healer I have one Ada same thing for Australian Shepherd but I have two beagles. I have four border collies. So this could be a very handy way to organize the report. We can do a save as and make it a custom report. This could be private and it could be group by category and breed and save that. And if I go back to the primary report, I'm back to the standard view, but I can come to my private report without having to redo the settings. The other thing I wanted to show was coming to the application and looking at all the pages that we have here, we have assigned those to groups. We have page groups. So if I type in animals, for example, as a filter, I see only the pages in that group. But if I would like to see the groupings, what I can do is switch from view icons to view report. I can get rid of my animals filter. And I can do essentially what I just did in the other report or interactive grid. I can come to control breaks under format and I want to set it up for group and apply that. Now I see the pages assigned to animals group, pages assigned to maintenance, and so on and so forth. And more importantly, I come down here and see what pages have not been assigned. So for animal processing, I want to click on that and I want to assign it to the animals group. Uh, let me come down here and look at that first. So we have animals, animals, animals. All three of those should be added to the animals group. I'll pause the video while I do that. So now grouping the pages by the page groups, I have animals, maintenance, other parent pages, people, and then I have the pages that are that don't belong in any of those categories. They are the initial pages of the application itself. So this is a handy way to look at the organization of your pages. If we go back to icon view, this could be very hard to navigate if we add another 10 or 15 pages. In the next video, we're going to create a view that combines data from multiple tables and then put an interactive report on that view.